This is Dave Palumbo with RxMuscle.com, and I'm here to talk to you about a very special person, Alex Fedorov, the Russian pro. Alex just made his comeback this year at the Orlando Pro and then the New York Pro, and I got a chance to see him in person in New York, and I got to tell you, he was the biggest, freakiest guy on stage. No one's got more mass than Fedorov. I was actually shocked that after taking the layoff of eight years, he was able to put that much size back on and even make improvements over the last time we saw him. And that's just a testament to hard work and, and hardcore training. And I think that, you know, Alex is just going to get better and better the more he competes. Hopefully, this is just the beginning or the tip of the iceberg for him and he's going to keep refining his physique. Personally, I thought he should have possibly been in that top three at New York. Had he been a little bit tighter and come a little drier with a little more conditioning, showing more detail, I think we could have seen him even battling it out in that top two. Uh, the, the, the knock against Alex is that his shape might not be so great, where his waist is a little big. But the truth of the matter is that if he came in super crazy shredded, Jay Cutler never had a small waist, and he was Mr. Olympia. So I think Fedorov's you know, main focus now should be, how can I get as crazy conditioned as possible? Because when your shape is not you know, you know, flex wheeler-ish, you have to come in at 100%. If you give up a little bit even, people are going to pick apart your structure and your frame and they're going to say all kinds of things you know, to, 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 to put down the fact that, yeah, while you have size, you don't have the structure and shape to stand up there on a pro stage. But I got news for you. There's not many guys in the sport with that much muscle. Marcus Rule didn't have great shape, but he always came in freaky hard and he did real well and won some big shows during his career. And I think Fedorov could be winning some big shows as well. What does he got to do? He's got to start from the drawing board and not worry about being small anymore because guess what, Alex? You put on the size. You're back to where you were and beyond that. And there's no one out there that's bigger than you. So if you want to compete with these top guys at the top elite level, you have to come in super shredded. Uh, Chris Aceto and I were sitting next to each other. When Alex came out, we were both looking at each other like, holy mackerel, look at this guy's most muscular shot. Look at this guy's side chest shot. I mean, just there's really no weaknesses or holes in his physique. All we see is, you know, crazy amount of freaky muscle. His side leg is, is you know, the side tricep with that side leg shot, you know, is can beat, you know, Phil Heath pretty much. Let, let's, let's say it like it is. I mean, that was the shot that everyone was comparing him Ronnie Coleman and Jay Cutler at that 2003 Russian Grand Prix where, where Alex finished third behind those two guys and actually established himself as a guy that could be a future champ. Uh, obviously things didn't go as he had planned, he tore his pack. Now that he's back and, and better than ever, I think that he needs to refocus on what is going to make him the best Alex Fedorov he's going to be. And that comes down to and boils down to conditioning conditioning, conditioning, conditioning win shows. And when Fedorov nails that conditioning, he'll be winning shows too. That's my prediction.